This is interesting. Um, I, I hear this uh, word ontology. Uh, could you elaborate a little bit more? Uh, you know, when did you realize that your framework is ontology? Because y we didn't see this word in on your framework in in the previous versions of the graphic. Yes, I I was I didn't know my framework is an ontology until just uh, several years ago now, and uh, I, it, it, an ontology is a is a a, a classification is a structured classification of elementary components uh, from that are relevant to the existence of an object. The, the components have to exist, and the end object that they uh, they create has to exist. So it has to do with existence, and it's a comprehensive set of uh, single variable components from which you can create uh, the, a complex object. Now, I, I knew that my framework uh, was comprised of primitive compo single variable components from which you create enterprises, right. uh, but I didn't realize it was an ontology. An ontology, the concept of ontology has been around for thousands of years. It's coming out of philosophy, actually, uh, where uh, it's it's the it's the formalization of the underlying laws of nature that constitutes a schema, a classification of uh, of components that from which you can create. Uh, complex objects is very once again it's very consistent with the idea of the periodic table right. the periodic table is an ontology it is not a methodology it does not tell you which compounds to create it doesn't tell you how to create them it doesn't tell you which uh, elements are more important or useful more useful than another it's the classification of the total set of, of elements from which you can create any compound Every compound, everything you touch and everything you see is a compound, and it's made up of components that are elements of the periodic table. So you have to understand the periodic table before you understand how to engineer the compounds to do what you want them to do. So the metaphor, once again, is really a useful metaphor. My framework is an ontology. It dawned on me several years ago that that's what it was. My academic friends wanted me to call it a methodology. The Zachman, uh, they wanted me to call it the Zachman ontology, not the Zachman framework, because my academic friends have difficulty differentiating my framework from other frameworks. They say, which is better, the Zachman framework or the X Y Z framework? And and that and it's not they are not comparable because my framework is an ontology like the periodic table, and most frameworks are methodologies or they're defining how you create compounds or a cl attempt to classify the compound. So they're two completely different things. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, my, once again, my, friend, my friends, wanted, my academic friends wanted me to call it uh, ontology. Ron Ross, my friend Ron Ross, said don't call it the Zachman ontology because that word ontology is not in the information technology community's vocabulary, and it's not in the business vocabulary either. It's in, it's in an academic domain. Uh, can I suggest something here? Um, is uh, is it is it okay if you don't use this reference that your academic friend wanted you to do that, because that creates an impression as if you know we are not we are talking something which is not industry relevant. Well, the, you know, that's another issue. Uh, my, my framework is, is very pragmatic, practical. If, if you care that what you create, the implementations you create, are relevant to the enterprise, that do, and, and you create the enterprise that does what you want it to do, and that you can change it dynamically. If you want to do that, my framework is very pragmatic, very practical. Right. It is not a theoretical construct, although it's just like the periodic table is very practical. Practical. Every every manufacturing chemical manufacturing methodology uses the elements to create the compounds. And if you don't understand the elements, you can't create the compounds in a in a scientific manner. The only way you can create them is by practicing trial and error, best practices.